welcome to today's class as a continuation of yesterday's class today i am going to explain the derivative of composite functions so this is called a chain rule also we call it as so very very easy uh, concept this is uh, what is meant by this chain rule for example any function is there f of g of x type I will show the I will show you some functions of the form f of x is equal to sin e power x sin of e power x there are certain functions uh, like that f of x is equal to root of sin x f of x is equal to root of sin x one more function is there and uh, some there are certain function f of x is equal to log of sin of e power x that means actually our main function is sin of x main function is sin of x in this x there is another function was substituted that is e power x such type of functions are called composite functions f circle g of x g circle f of x actually so this is a mixture of two functions this is f of x is equal to sin x and g of x is equal to e e power, e power x this is f circle g of x this function is f circle g of x that is sin of e power x okay now then how to find out the derivative of this functions that means total derivatives how to find out the derivative dash means derivative how to find out now first we have to find out the derivative of the function total function f of g of f dash of g of x again we have to find out the derivative of g of x that is g dash of x understand again you have to find out the derivative of g dash of x not only one function what are any number of functions for example f of g of h of x is there this is a composite function if you want to find out the derivative if you want to find out the derivative so first of all find the total function f f dash of g of h of x into again the derivative of g that is g dash of hx again h derivative h dash of x x derivative is what no need to write so this is the uh, way of finding the derivative of composite functions this is called chain rule just like a chain it is coming it is a chain rule one by one one by one so on we are going to do now let us see the first function so here f of x is equal to e power x sorry sin of sin e power x e power x then how to do the find the derivative of this function so what the derivative first to uh, sin e power x in place of e power x think that it is x uh, think that it is x what is the derivative of sin x cos x that means f dash of x is equal to cos e power x again you have to find out the derivative of e power x again you have to find out the derivative of e power x so this is equal to cos of e power x into e power x derivative is e power x that's all so your answer is sin e power x derivative is e power x into cos of e power x okay now now let us take another function f of x is equal to root of sin x f of x is equal to root of sin x what is the derivative of uh, this function f dash of x means root x derivative is 1 by 2 root x that means 1 by 2 root of sin x again sin x derivative is cos x again sin x derivative is cos x now coming to this function f of x is equal to log of sin of e power x here there are three functions are there what are they log x again sin x again e power x that means you have to know the derivatives of log x sin x e power x what is the derivative of log x 1 upon x what is the derivative of sin x cos x what is the derivative of e power x e power x okay now so the derivative of this function is equal to 1 by sin of e power x that means log x that means 1 by x again sin x derivative cos of e power x okay cos of e power that means cos x e power x derivative to e power x so this is your final answer so this is called uh, composite function derivative that is chain rule 
So it's a very very important uh, uh, thing that you have to remember. Okay now. So let us see uh, one more concept. Welcome to this uh, another concept that is a product rule. So sometimes you we, we call it as a UV formula. What is that? So if there is a, any if the product of two functions are there, then how to find out the derivative of that function? That means what one function is f of x, another function is g of x. Uh, what is the derivative of its product? That is d by dx of f of x into g of x. d by dx of f of x into g of x. So this is equal to first uh, you find the derivative of anything, any one of the functions. You can find out any one of the function derivative into second function as it is plus plus. Find the derivative of the second function that is g dash of x and the first function derivative is as it is. That means you can uh, simplify this as like this u into v that is u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. That means if there are any two functions are there u into v first find out the derivative of u sorry leave it the Derivative uh, u function find the derivative of v plus v into du by dx. Okay now, sir, if there are more than three functions are there, what happens? Sir, a same concept uh, applies here. So what is that? D by dx of u into v into w. There are three functions are there. U into v into w. That's why first uh, uh, take any one function as you like. So that is equal to v into w du by dx plus next to find out the derivative of v so u into w dv by dx plus find the derivative of w u into v u into v dw by dx dw by dx understand so that means uh, very how to remember very easy if there are three persons uh, went for an interview for job interview final interview u v w First what they will do one by one they will call. First they called u the derivative of u and the remaining v and w they have to sit outside. They have to sit outside plus again they interviewed uh, next they interviewed with the second person v that means interview means the derivative dv by dx u and w they have to sit outside next w they are going to uh, interview w that is dw by dx u and v what they have to do they have to sit outside so here also there are two functions are there u and v they went for an interview okay what happens first they will uh, interview v and u have to sit outside again they will do interview for u and v have to sit outside so that all process have to complete no so all the three persons should be interviewed remaining two persons will be sit outside the same thing uh, for any number of functions any number of functions so whichever for be the functions is interviewed that dv that function dy by dx again remaining all functions sit outside that's all okay so this is called product rule or uv formula and uh, and uh, basing on this uh, there is one more one problem is there so let us see that problem uh, welcome to this problem limit h tends to 0 a plus h whole square into sin inverse of a plus h minus a square into sin inverse of a upon h then how to do this problem as h tends to 0 if you substitute 0 h is equal to 0 here a square so this is sin inverse of a minus a uh, 0 by 0 you will get and uh, you can do L hospital rule also no problem it will be uh, if we, we will get the answer but without doing that L hospital rule a very very simple steps a very very logical step is there then how to do that problem so by seeing this are you getting any are you any formula is striking in our mind see here limit h tends to 0 whenever limit h tends to 0 one uh, formula is there no remember that limit h tends to 0 one formula is there limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h formula is there no see here f of x this is the function a square minus sin inverse of a here f of x plus h that means in place of a a plus h is there in place of a a plus is there by h by h divided by h 
So it is not just like this function. <coughs> it is not just like this function. So this is called dy by dx. Since here x is there, x dy by dx. So here also this is nothing but d by dA of your function. This is your f of x function. That means a square into sin inverse of a. Understand this? So if limit h tends to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x by h is there, then you can write down dy by dx, x plus h. So here a plus h, that's why d by dA of a square into sin inverse of a. Here the variable is a. Understand this? Now find that now a square is a one function, sin inverse of a is another function, then just now we call it as a u into v formula. So first of all, leave it a square and find the derivative of sin inverse of a. Sin inverse of a derivative is 1 upon 1 minus a square into sin, sorry, plus sin inverse of a into a, a square derivative to 2a. So almost this is your final answer. Understand this? So some problems will be done by uh, taking observation. Okay now. You can do this uh, using uh, uh, by L hospital rule also you can do. That means here u into v formula you have to apply. But there are you have to uh, develop the logical thinking like that. By seeing this problem, this problem you have to immediately remember the formula limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Therefore, it is nothing but the derivative of a square sin inverse of a and easily you can solve this problem okay now so i hope that you understand this problem uh, let us see the next concept what the next concept is here u by v is there if it is u u into v is there if it is u by v so this is called quotient rule quotient rule let us see that formula also welcome to this quotient rule what is the quotient rule some there are certain functions which are uh, <coughs> in the type of quotient function. Quotient function we know that. Uh, that is uh, for example, sin inverse of x upon x square is there. There is a function sin inverse of x upon x square is there. Then what is the derivative of that function? Otherwise log x by log x by x square into 2 some x square it is there g of x log x by x square, log x upon x square, then how to do this type of problem. That means numerator by denominator type of functions are there. So that was called quotient function, then how to do that uh, derivative. So that is d by dx of f of x by g of x, okay now. So that is u by v, then how to do this type of uh, functions means the rule is First g of x as it is you write down, denominator as it is you write down, the derivative of the numerator that is f dash of x minus numerator as it is f of x, the derivative g dash of x whole divided by g of x whole square, g of x whole square. Okay, it will be very very uh, well remembered if you apply the u by v formula u by v. If you apply the u by v, then it will be uh, remembering is very, very easy. That means u by v. v as it is, v into u function, du by dx minus u into dv by dx whole divided by v square. v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx whole divided by v square. Understand this? Okay. But the condition is here, very, very important point to be remember is what is the denominator here? g of x. What is the denominator here? v. So your g of x should not be equal to 0. Here v should not be equal to 0. Understand? So the denominator, obviously, obviously the denominator should not be equal to 0 for any x which is defined in the domain of these two functions and for any x okay now right so there is no extension formula why because a numerator and denominator okay so based on this there are some uh, problems are there so let us see those problems welcome to this problem so here y is equal to e power x e power x upon 
1 plus sin x. What is the derivative of dy by dx? So, very nice problem. So, the derivative of dy by dx is equal to, once again, I am writing the formula, d by dx of u upon v, u upon v. Therefore, first what I have to write down? Denominator as it is, derivative of the numerator minus u into dv by dx whole divided by v square. Okay now, so u by v, v means how much? 1 plus sin x as it is into e power x derivative, e power x only minus numerator as it is 1 plus sin x derivative, 1 derivative 0, sin x derivative cos x whole divided by 1 plus sin x whole square, 1 plus sin x whole square. So, this is equal to e power x plus e power x into sin x minus e power x into, well, like, okay, you can take a e power x common outside, no need. So, if you take e power x common outside, 1 plus sin x minus cos x by 1 plus sin x whole square. So, this will be our final answer. u by v. So, v into e power x minus v u into dv by dx by v square. Very, very easy problem. This is just to make you understand. I explained this problem. Okay, now. So, let us go for, let us go to next concept. Welcome back. So, here what is now we are going to see the next concept is differentiation of implicit functions. So, in the chapter functions, we come across this concept, implicit function and explicit function. So far, what we have seen all are explicit functions. What are explicit functions? Means I will give y is equal to e power x explicit. That means y is one side, x is another side explicit. That means uh, y is equal to x square plus 2 sin x plus 5. This is also explicit. Otherwise, x is equal to 2y square plus sin y. This is also explicit. That means x one side, y one side. We can separate even though it was not in the uh, mixed one. We can separate that. Uh, we can separate x one side and y one side. This type of uh, functions are called explicit functions. Explicit functions. We can able to express as y in terms of x or x in terms of y. But there are certain functions which you cannot express as a x in terms of y and y in terms of x. So, what is that function sir? Let us see that function x square plus 2xy minus y square plus 1 is equal to 0. So, see here this type of functions uh, for example here also some x is there. Here this function you cannot express uh, some x is equal to in terms of y and y is equal to in terms of x. You cannot express. This type of again otherwise sin xy plus x plus y is equal to 0. Sin x into y plus x plus y is equal to 0. This also you cannot express y in terms of x, x in terms of y. This generally we call it as f of x comma y is equal to 0. That means x and y both variables are there. Understand this, this type of function that means opposite of explicit. If you are able to separate x one side, y one side separate or y one side or x side separate, then we call it as explicit function. If you are unable to separate both the variables that is called implicit function. Now, we are going to find the uh, derivatives of implicit function. That means, uh, if x comma y is equal to 0, this also we call it as f, f of x comma y is equal to 0. Then, how to find out the derivatives of implicit function means directly we will do that. So, that means sin of x comma y derivative is cos of x comma y. Again, u into v derivative like that will. But, there is a short trick formula is there. What is the derivative means dy by dx. First write down dy by dx. The derivative of implicit function. Put to minus compulsory minus. Okay now. This is called dou f by dou x minus dou f by dou y. Okay now dou f by dou. What is this dou sir? This is called partial differentiation. That means minus find the derivative find the derivative 
of the function treating with respect to x you are doing treating y as constant y as constant divided by find the derivative of the given function treating x as constant first to find the derivative of this function taking y as constant find the derivative of the uh, this function taking x as constant okay if i take one example if i take one example then it will be uh, very very easily uh, rememberable it is not at all a difficult topic so let us take uh, let me take one example and let uh, let me explain welcome back to one problem so i will explain the derivative of this uh, implicit function taking uh, uh, one example so here x y plus y square is equal to tan x plus y then what is the derivative of dy by dx clearly this a is an implicit function how so here x y plus y square minus tan x minus y is equal to 0 this is a one implicit uh, function why because you cannot express x in terms of y and y in terms of x you cannot that means this is a nothing but f x comma y is equal to 0 then how to find out the derivative of dy by dx so you can write down directly dy by dx is equal to minus of compulsory minus by derivative of this function treating y as a constant y treat y as a constant so here x into y x into y y is a constant x derivative is 1 1 into y y minus here y square is constant 0 minus y is also constant 0 tan x derivative secant square x over so this is we are treated y constant here we are treating x constant numerator y constant denominator x constant see here here x constant here x is a constant y is a variable so x y variable derivative is 1 so here you will get x y square derivative 2y 2y tan x derivative to 0 why because x is a constant therefore tan x is also a constant minus 1 minus y minus y derivative to minus 1 so total you are dy by dx is equal to so this is a secant square x minus y by x plus 2y minus 1 this will be your final answer so numerator treat y as a constant denominator treat x as a constant okay now so this is the derivative of implicit function very very easy concept okay i hope that you understand this concept so let us see some more concepts uh, let us uh, see one more concept differentiation of functions in parametric form so what are means by parametric form these forms are very very useful and used in physics they were used in physics so in physics the variables x and y they cannot be expressed in a single variable that means uh, x cannot be expressed as a single variable and y cannot be expressed as a sin single variable that means both x and y are uh, expressed in a separate form that means x is expressed as a a sin t plus t square the variable y is expressed as a in terms of a cos t minus t so far what we have seen y is equal to x square plus 2x x is equal to 3y plus 4 that means both x and y are expressed in a single equation y is expressed in a single by x and y both are expressed in a single expression expression or equation but in physics there are certain quantities uh, for example speed and time that's uh, the type of quantities they cannot be expressed in a single equation they have to express in a separate form x is expressed in terms of t time y is expressed in terms of t that is time t but uh, otherwise sometimes angles also x is equal to a sin theta y is equal to b cos theta here expressed in terms of theta where theta is a variable 
understand so this type of equations are called parametric equations these type of equations are called parametric equations where t is a parameter here theta is a parameter here understand here t is a parameter theta is a parameter here okay then how to find out the derivative of this uh, parametric equation form okay now so let us see that so let us see that x is x or y is expressed as a function of t some t x is expressed as a function of t otherwise you call it as a g of t x is expressed y is expressed in terms of t and x is also expressed in terms of t then your dy by dx is given by f dash of t by g dash of t f dash of t by g dash of t that is this is equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt this is the equation so if you want to find out dy by dx is equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt okay so this is the parametric differentiation if you want to find out the derivative of y with respect to x the derivative of y with respect to x nothing but dy by dt upon dx by dt sometimes here the parameter is t sometimes if the parameter is not t if it is in theta the same concept applies y is equal to f of theta x is equal to g of theta then dy by dx is equal to f dash of theta by g dash of theta otherwise dy by d theta by dx by d theta like that also you can express understand so using this uh, <coughs> for example if you cross multiply this if you cross multiply this what happens you see here dy by dt dy by dt is equal to dy by dx into dx by dt there is another formula is coming dy by dt is equal to dy by dx into dx by dt see here these two should be equal we can extend this formula to any uh, direction anyway that means dy by dx is equal to dy by dt into dt by dm into dm by dx like that also in up to any number of variables we can extend this the thing is the thing is see here dt here also dt here dm here also dm dt dt dm dm therefore dy by dx will come like that you can extend this uh, formula taking uh, any number of parameters as you like okay now, these concepts will be useful while solving the problems okay so based on this uh, there are some one or two problems are there let me solve those problem to make you understand this concept very very clearly welcome to this problem so here x is equal to a of theta minus sin theta y is equal to a of 1 minus cos theta these two are called parametric equation that means x is expressed in terms of the theta where parameter theta will change y is equal to a of 1 minus cos theta theta is a parameter then how to find out dy by dx so your dy by dx is given by so your dy by dx is given by dy by d theta upon dx by d theta okay now so what is a dy by d theta that means see here a into what is the derivative of 1 0 minus cos theta derivative minus sin theta already minus is there sin theta by dx by d theta a into that is a what is the derivative of theta 1 why because you are doing it with respect to theta minus sin theta derivative cos theta so theta a a will get cancelled sin theta upon 1 minus cos theta still you can simplify that how sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 1 minus cos theta is nothing but 2 sin square theta by 2 2 2 will cancel 1 cancel so cot theta by 2 so this is the parametric differentiation okay now i hope that you understand this concept so let us go for next concept 
friends welcome to this uh, logarithmic differentiation what is the use of this logarithmic differentiation means there are certain functions for example y is equal to x to the power of sin x and there is another function is there for example y is equal to sin x to the power of cos x so here base is also a function of x and the power exponent is also a function of x then how to find out the derivative of this type of functions and set for example there are some function this is equal to sin x into sin 2x into sin 3x into sin 4x like this is there whole divided by cos x into cos 2x into cos 3x into cos 4x if it is type of this type of functions are there so if you start doing this a problem so that is u by v formula again u into v into w it takes a long time then how to do this type of problems how to do this problem okay so this type of problems that means for example y is equal to f of x whole to the power of g of x that means here base is a uh, base is a function of x and the power is also a function of x then how to do this type of uh, derivative means just this power is there no power g of x you have to make it uh, you have to take it into down you have to take it down the only thing is by applying logarithms okay so apply logarithms on both sides so log y is equal to log of f of x whole to the power of g of x okay so we have formula log a to the power of m is equal to m log a so this is equal to log y is equal to g of x into log of f of x okay now now this will become u and this will become v find the derivative okay now again we can write it as a y is equal to so base e generally so therefore e to the power of g of x into log of f of x also you can write okay so to do this type of problems there is a short trick formula is there now i am going to explain that short trick problem remember this your function y is equal to f of x to the power of g of x can be written as e to the power of g of x into log of f of x i am telling this from this y is equal to e to the power of so this is a logarithmic form this is an exponential form see here a power x is equal to n this implies x is equal to log n to the base a so this is a exponential form down logarithmic form so this is a logarithmic form this is this can be written as y is equal to e to the power of gx into log of f of x that means these two functions are equal whenever you are given y is equal to f of x to the power of g of x you can express it as a e to the power of e raised to the power of g of x into log of base okay now so if you remember that concept i am going to explain a very short trick formula okay now so let us see that short trick formula welcome to short trick formula what is that short trick formula y is equal to f of x to the power of g of x just now i told you f of x to the power of g of x can be expressed as e to the power of g of x into logarithm of f of x just now i told g of x e to the power of course e to the power of g of x into logarithm of f of x now what is the derivative of function this dy by dx means this term as it is you write down e to the power of g of x into log of f of x you write down you write down as it is then write the derivative of this function write the derivative of that function what is the derivative of this function g of x into log of x means this is a u and it is v that means g oh, sorry like, uh, we can write down g of x as it is log of f of x derivative log x derivative 1 by x that is 1 by f of x again f of x derivative f dash of x plus plus log of f of x as it is log of f of x as it is what the derivative of g of x that is 
g dash of x this is a short trick very very easy problem so y is equal to if the function is of the form f of x to the power of g of x this can be written as e to the power of power g of x into log of f of x okay now right if you want to find out the derivative this term as it is you write down here as it is you write down here okay now and what you have to do next what the next step means treating this as u and it as v by parts for that u into v formula that is g of x into what the derivative of log of f of x chain rule chain rule log x derivative to 1 by x f of x again f of x derivative to f dash of x plus log of f of x that is v as it is what the derivative of g of x g dash of x okay now so again dy by dx is it is this is nothing but your original problem no so that is f of x to the power of g of x into g of x into 1 by f of x into f dash of x plus log of f of x into g dash of x so this is your short trick formula okay now i will i am going to uh, i will explain this short trick formula by taking one example welcome back to this <coughs> this is a very very easy concept then y is equal to sin x to the power of x find then find the dy by dx any short trick i will tell so this is equal to y is equal to i told you e power x into log of sin x this can be uh, uh, explained log, if we apply log on both sides x into log of sin x again e to the power of x into log of sin x next dy by dx is equal to this term as it is e to the power of x into log of sin x into into find the derivative of this you treat it as u and you treat it as v right so that is x as it is x as it is as it is log of sin x derivative log x derivative to 1 by sin x sin x derivative to cos x plus log of sin x into x derivative to 1 okay now so therefore your final answer is dy by dx is equal to this is nothing but your original problem sin x to the power of x into so this is equal to x into cos x by sin x means cot x plus log of sin x okay now so this is our final answer okay so first thing what sin x to the power of x to the power of x sin x to the power of whole power x so this can be expressed as e power here x into log of sin x this term as it is you write down this term as it is write down find the derivative of x into log of sin x u into v formula u into v formula that will be our final answer so dear students i hope that you enjoy today's class with uh, some more problems and some more concepts tomorrow's class i am going to uh, stand before you until then all the best